one person alone on a tropical island for 30 days with no food and no water. With the right gear and a bit of ingenuity, I can survive. I never thought this challenge would be easy, and I was darn right, it's not. The, uh, if it's not one thing, it's the other. This morning we had intermittent uh, showers, that was really good. Picked up probably a couple gallons of water, that's awesome. Uh, but the food intake has been a lot less than what it would be ideally. Yesterday, I had a medium-sized fish, a really wonderful coconut. I ate all the meat out of a nice coconut, and I drank the contents of the coconut. If I was to guess, it's probably five or 600 calories. As hard as I'm working out here, I should probably be consuming 3,000 a day. So that's a deficit. Uh, I'm looking, I've been looking for alternative, oh, there's a small shark, gosh, that would be the perfect one if I was to get a shark. The water is crystal clear, I can literally see, it seems like 40, 50 yards in the water, a uh, small black tip shark is passing right in front of me now, which is only about two feet long and yeah if I could harpoon him that would that would have been awesome but he's heading the other direction right now oh he just turned around I'm gonna catch up to you later I'm really tired today, really low on energy. I had a good dinner last night, but I'm probably taking in about one third of the calories that I really need because uh, I'm working hard every day. I'm doing stuff every second of every day. When I'm fishing, it's not a pleasure sport. It's a means of survival. So today, I was out actually trying to get a shark because uh, that would be some heavy duty meat there. But I tried three times and I was unsuccessful. Well, I just hooked a small shark. I had a fish head <laughs> and I rigged up a setup to try to catch him. Threw it out there. Small shark gobbled it up, had him on the line. The second he flicked his tail, he snapped that line like it was nothing. So I brought with me some wire. I don't know how much there is there, and I don't know if that'll work, but I'm gonna give that a try. I unraveled all that wire. I think I have 15 feet or so, and I fashioned a hook to the end of the wire, being careful not to kink that wire in any way. I like my knots that I did there and hopefully that will work. Now I need to catch a fish 
so that I have bait to continue the quest for the shark. I found one uh, old beat up rusty hook. Why not add it in there? Two is always better than one. My improvised wire line, I had 12 feet of wire line, not line actually, just 12 feet of wire, and two hooks that I strung together with that wire and a fish head, and I caught this guy, which should be some good eating. We're gonna find out, I will let you know. I'll give you my honest opinion, but when it comes down to survival, you gotta do what you gotta do, and this guy took one of my fish on my second day here. Not that I believe in payback or fate, but uh, I'm glad that uh, I'll have this food. So here's my little wood burning stove once again, but this time frying up two shark fillets. I can't believe I didn't bring any lemon spice. That would have been awesome. Okay, here it goes. My first taste of shark. Tastes like chicken. No, it tastes like fish. It's good. It's really good. Wow. And it's hot. <laughs> really hot. But really good. Evenings on the Motu were breathtaking. As the sun would set, Mother Nature would put on an amazing show. The sky would turn from blue to crimson to gold with dashes of lavender and purple. I would lay on my back, effortlessly floating in the refreshing water of the lagoon. The only sounds I would hear would be the gentle lapping of waves and the occasional call of a bird. It was truly magical. 